All right, it's Thursday night, and we're starting our beer brewing process. The first step is to prepare the yeast. This is like brewing a mini batch of beer. We're going to brew three cups of beer, basically, really concentrated malt. And we're going to put the yeast in, and it's going to grow in the Erlenmeyer flask, which is over here, sanitizing iota 4. Iodine solution is probably sanitized by now, so we'll just get rid of the get rid of the iodine four. Here's the iodine four, same stuff you use in restaurants. Okay, the water is boiling. We can start making our little batch of beer. We're gonna need a little pinch of this nutrient, about one eighth teaspoon and about half a cup of this uh, malt extract. First we'll put in the uh, nutrient. Okay. Just to with. Now I'll put in the first half of the malt. And the rest of the malt. Stay up until there's no clumps. It's not bad. Now we'll turn the heat back on. I gotta be real careful here because this is a lot of sugar in this water. Mmm, smells good. It smells like beer. Here we see the beer boiling. Beautiful. Smells great. It's basically a pale ale malt. So this is basically a beer worked without the uh, without any hops. So that's boiled enough. It only has to boil enough to sanitize it, really. Make sure it dissolves and sanitize it. Now we just got to put it in the sanitized Erlenmeyer flask. Now this is the part where I could really stand to have a funnel. But of course I always forget to buy one. Hope you enjoyed that. Now we've got a chill that worked pretty quickly. So we don't want it to cool slowly. Now we didn't lose too much of our uh, work. We need about 750 milliliters and we still have about that much, so we're fine. I want to chill it down to room temperature as quickly as we can, really, because uh, the more it lingers in the dangerous range between 90 and 120 or so, the more chance of getting a bacterial infection. So we want to get it through that dangerous temperature range as quickly as possible. And we're ice bath it. While we're waiting on that, we'll make a little uh, sanitizing solution for our yeast package. That's too much iota for. You generally don't have to measure iota for. You can tell by this color whether it's strong enough. It's way too strong. If I were thinking ahead, I would have just reused the iodine pour from the flask. This is just a precaution so we don't contaminate anything when we open the yeast packet. Once you've gotten the uh, work down to a temperature that the yeast can tolerate, room temperature, it's about 70 
degrees or so, we can pitch the yeast into it. Okay, the yeast is open, ready to rock. Pour that sucker in there. There's more nutrient inside the yeast package. I've already cracked it open and stirred it up. I want to make sure I mix it real good, get it aerated. And this foam stopper goes on the top to keep the bugs out. That's it. We just put it on the counter for two days. Nice cool dark spot. Stir it every time we walk past it. And we'll have a lot of yeast to work with on Saturday.